in this problem, we're being asked to tell which one is bigger, 2 thirds or 5 eighths. So we've got two fractions, and the numerators are different, the denominators are different, and it's not clear, just looking at them, which one would be bigger. Um, they're probably pretty close. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to use a method that you'll be using a lot with fractions, and that is finding a common denominator. The trick we're going to use is that if you multiply a fraction, the top and the bottom, by the same number, let's say you multiply by 2 and you multiply by 2, you would get 4 over 6. It's the same thing. As long as you did uh, the same number multiplying to the top and the bottom, it has the same value. If you punch 2 thirds into your calculator, you'll get 0.66 repeating. If you punch 4 divided by 6 in your cal calculator, you'll get the same thing. So these are the same numbers. So what we want to do is look at our denominators and ask ourselves, can we multiply both of these fractions by some numbers and arrive at the same number on the bottom? Another way to think about that is thinking of multiples of 3 and multiples of 8, and where do they overlap? If I were, were going to look at multiples of 8, I would just count up by 8s. So 8, 16, 24, and so on. 32 would be next. Multiples of 3 would be 3, 6, 9, 12, <clears throat> 15, 18, 21. So far, nothing in common. 24. Ah, aha. So 24 is a multiple they have in common. So if I could make both of these fractions have 24 on the denominator, then I could compare them. So what do I need to do to make 24 down here? Well, I've got a 3, so I need to multiply by 8, so times 8. But I have to do that, of course, to the top and the bottom. So 2 times 8 is 16, and 3 times 8 is 24. So 2 thirds is the same thing as 16 24 fourths. Let's do the same thing here. 8, to get that to be 24, I need to multiply by 3. So 5 times 3 is 15, and 8 times 3 is 24. So now I have the same denominator. So we can compare the tops directly. 16 24 versus 15 24. Well, 16 is bigger than 15, so this fraction is bigger than this fraction, which means that 2 thirds is bigger just by a little bit than 5 eighths. So that is how to find the common denominator so that you can compare fractions.